Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, here we go now. Won't you phone it is to Red Anderson and Malcolm, take what's, it away. What's, what's it, happening? It here? sounds like we have some kind of tone deaf person stealing our show. Oh, no. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. It's mildly. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 19 of Mildly Epic. Um, I'm Eddie Stash Davis. I am Malcolm, the Spider fan, Vance Giver. And I'm Santa Claus. I'm, I'm Mike Ross. Hi. Hey. hey yes, hey, our hey, tone hey, death morning. singer we had in the beginning that yeah. hijacked our opening. Michael Ross. <laughs> okay, guys. So, episode 19. By the way, um, this is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas to you guys. What are you Happy guys? What, what are you guys? Like what that. are you guys doing for Christmas? What are you guys doing for Christmas? Playing video my two games. front teeth and playing video games. Did you guys ever open up your your Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve? My parents let me do that sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. It was sometimes. a little like, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So <laughs> today we have our we've gone our top tech gifts. Mm-hmm. They're top gaming gifts. Oh yeah, and yeah. now. The games we're looking forward to the most in 2017. Yeah. If you haven't gotten a gift yet, then, you know, it's, it's pretty late. It's, yeah. it's too late. Yes, too no, we're not giving you any more ideas. It's done. Too late now. It's, <laughs> it's, done. It's, you fail. Donezo. Okay. So, Mike Ross, since you went for last last time, let's go first this time. Uh, number one game in 2017 that I'm looking forward to, by far, is Sea of Thieves. Sea of mm. Thieves is, number, is the absolute top of my list of... Um, uh, just games I'm looking forward to on the Xbox. They announced it two years, one year ago. What yes. was it this year at, at E3? No, no they it announced was two like years, no, two years, two years ago. Something. Yeah, it, and yeah. I have been counting the days until it comes out. I think it looks great. I think the art style looks amazing. I think the dev team behind it is very skilled. I think that they personally are ready to do something that's unique and new and doesn't have a number attached to it. Yes. So. Yes, Malcolm, very, you, very you too. I know me and you are both pretty jazz, but Eddie's kind of like, eh. But. He's kind of like, eh. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I'm. I'm very excited about this. I'm excited to 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 do everything that is possible in the game that you possibly can. Now, the thing I was, I, I think we had talked about this once before, but the uh, that you, Eddie, you said there's something about a subscription service to this game. Well, they they say that it's not going to be free to play. They did that like right after E3 because mm-hmm. it is an MMO. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll I mean, see. we'll see how that goes. I mean, it, either way, fun game. If it's if it's anything like it's being displayed as currently, it, it'll be worth uh, a little extra to to play the game. Yeah, I, I'll be okay with that. Yeah, the 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 teamwork that would be required to pilot to pilot captain to captain a ship. Mm, uh, yes. where you know captain can't see where he's going because the sails so that's why you're in the crow's nest so you can let us know what's happening but then we're being attacked and so you two are going to man these guns on the side it's just the, that synergy looks like a thing that i want to do that dynamic of of a crew that you would have that you have not seen before in a game or at least i personally have not seen before in a game that i'm i'm truly looking forward to i think that'd be fantastic now is it is it something now i don't know what systems it's, it's available on is it pc uh uh, Xbox, PlayStation Four, Xbox One, uh-huh. and the Microsoft Store. The micro, so no PlayStation, no PlayStation, no PlayStation. Okay, and no Steam, and no disc for PC, Xbox, and Microsoft Store. Gotcha. Oh, really? Yes, crossplay. Anything on the Microsoft Store is crossplay. Fantastic. So anything no that Microsoft does is crossplay, unless cool. you buy the disc for Xbox, then it's not crossplay. Okay. Okay. Crossplay digitally. So Malcolm, next. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, my number one uh, game that I'm most excited for uh, is going to be Spider-Man for uh, PlayStation. Yes. Sony exclusive. I it, man, just everything about this game. It gives you that full Spider-Man experience you've always wanted. I think. I think the last time that I saw something that seemed this immersive in a Spider-Man game was going to be uh, Spider-Man Two for the GameCube. Yes. Yes, that was webs have to hook onto the buildings. That was the first thing that I saw that I said, "Oh my god, I need to be a part of this." I started working catching balloons for little kids. Yes, chasing yes. after the rep, chasing for rep balloons. You got the uh, car chases you, and like shit would just happen in yeah. the in in the city, and mm-hmm. you would just be like, "Oh, maybe I'll save that woman's purse. Or maybe I'll just go fuck off to Central Park." You can do maybe I won't. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Oh man, I'm 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 glad that we're we're on the same level with that one. That's it. Just everything it just it looks phenomenal. The cool thing I and of course I've, I'm gonna uh, talk about the the visuals again. But um, first off, it looks beautiful. But it looks like a good combination of like all three of the movie suits so far. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's got like the the eye animation uh, for his like the lenses on his mask. Uh, it's got like the the spider on the front kind of looks like from Amazing Spider-Man uh, one and two, and then on the back's like the original Spider-Man. It looks kind of cool. So it's got a little, little extra in there too. Gazoon tight. Thank you. But yeah, I'm I'm extremely <laughs> excited so, about this one. Yes, yes. So is is so is is the so that suit isn't from a version of the comics or is that is that like a fully wholly original spider suit? Or? Completely original from from as, cool. as far as I that know. Is very cool. I've never seen that type of design before, and I mean, like I said, it's it's a combination of some that already exist, but um, yeah, it looks like they have never seen like that much white in the suit. It looks like he's got like redesigned bracers or something for his hands. I don't know. It uh, either way, it's it's a it's a unique design. I have not seen it before, and I'm I'm looking forward to what they have. And of course, they always redo the villains. I'm excited to see how they make them look, how they interact with the environment. If the environment is destructive as it shows in the in the trailer itself. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I, of course I love Spider-Man, so that's, that's going to be my number one for sure. But what, what do you got? What, uh, we already, no, Eddie, it's your turn. What do you got? Resi 7. Mm. Resident yeah. Evil 7. Um, <laughs> probably the reason, or at least one of the bigger reasons I'm buying a PlayStation VR. It looks like it's finally going back to its horror roots, like 1, 2, and 3. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is going to still have some action-y things like 4 and 5. Um, I seen people getting shot with guns while men were on fire so that's really cool and i i can't wait i i love capcom going back to their roots um, but i want to be horrified I really again can't wait for a, a mega man going back to the roots mm, that's why, nice. why can't we just have one new good mega man game that was that was a hard left eddie you got something to get get, get up your chest there you <laughs> okay. I, I want mega man fishing <laughs> oh mega man fishing <laughs> capcom <laughs> Capcom, hear me out right now. Me, uh, Michael Ross, you hire us to make Mega Man fishing. Guarantee best selling Mega Man game in years. They're totally listening to us. They're totally gonna do it now. I just I hope you know that. I want everybody to like, keep posting this podcast until it gets to Capcom. Just it could be that little portion right there. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. Just not to get it to them. Let's get back to Resi. Yes. Resi seven. Oh. No, I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm scared. I love, I'm, I'm just going back to the horror aspects. I love the VR. I, I can't wait. It's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. I'm I'm scared looking at the trailer. I, I that's what I like the most about it is because it's it it frightened me. Watch watching just a little bit of gameplay for it. I'm excited for that. I have nothing to add. This perfect. Next one. Also, yeah. Malcolm, I'm sorry for talking over you because I can only hear your voice from his mic. I know that you're like doing like one of these, and so like I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. It's I didn't right. mean to be rude. No, that's it's okay. That's okay. That's the cool thing with this <laughs> podcast. We can do what we want. All right, where are we? Go at? Macross. Oh shoot, it is me. Um, <clears throat> a ukulele. Actually, you know what? Screw this. We already screwed this up once. We're gonna get back to going around. We're gonna we're, we're gonna mix it all up. I want to talk about Battlefront Two. Star star, star 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 Wars Star Wars Battlefront. That's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah. What? Are you sure? One hundred percent. Okay, Mike, yeah, well, we, me and Malcolm know nothing of this, so talk. Go, please. During an, an investor call, I think like three weeks ago, EA was laying out their, you know, for like the people who own stock and whatever. They were like, well, oh, Battlefield 1's doing great and blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, DICE is absolutely working on Battlefront 2. Uh, I had the first Battlefront through EA Access, and so I, pl- I had 10 free hours. I played eight of those 10 hours, and then I saw all the game had. And so I never actually bought it. But those eight hours were really fun until I ran out of stuff to do. And so DICE takes that multiplayer and that, you know, Battlefield, but a bit more, um, like, arcade a bit more casual. They take that and add a single player, a real single player. Maybe even add some co-op, some, like, Star Wars side story stuff. Uh, Battle, I mean, Battlefront 1 played great, and it looked better then great. I mean, it was it, it was a fine game until you hit the end of the content. And then it was like, well, I could level up to level 37, 
instead of 36. I mean, it, you just sort of ran out of stuff to do. You ran out of modes. You ran out of maps. It was way too expensive because you had to have that stupid season pass, which they're going to do again because it's EA and it's DICE and it's yeah. Star Wars. All right. Okay. Okay. But looking forward to that. M- Malcolm? Yeah, I mean, that's... I, I'm blown away by that. I had no clue that was even a thing. That's fantastic. Um, Oh, man, what do I have? I've got a few things here uh, on my list. Uh, I've got to say For Honor is is very next, right behind Spider-Man. It's a close second. It's a really close second. Uh, but it's... It j- I mean, we, we've already done talked about this in our E3 episode back uh, a few months ago, I want to say, uh, whenever we did that E3 one. But it... It just everything about it. I, I like the 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 um, uh, the combat. I like that uh, between each of the characters. Um, E3 had a, a revealed a new cinematic for new cinematic trailer for the actual game itself, which got you of course, of course even more excited. Got you uh, a behind the scenes look at who is conducting all of everything that's happening, why it's happening. It's uh, what was it? The god of something rather? She was the god of battle or something along those lines. Was, was she the god of war? Uh, or it, it might have been the it god of war. Yeah, sense. yeah. I mean, that yeah. would make sense. But it's you know, it's it, it's cool to to get that aspect in there too. But uh, I I just I I love the 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 fluid motions of the combat the most because we got a little bit of game pay, gameplay from the alpha. And um, I mean, what do you guys yeah. think? What do you guys think about For Honor? Well, I, th- I, th- I think it looks cool. It's sort of like a modern uh, multiplayer punch out. You know, where like each character kind of has their tell. You know, you can dodge, you can block, you can attack, and you need to know and be able to see your openings and see when you need to... Uh, it, it, the combat system looks really deep, and it looks different. You know, it looks... It, it looks, you know, it, it doesn't look like a, like a hack and slash, you know, like a you know, Dicey Warriors kind of thing. It, it, it doesn't look like a, a um, shoot, a Dark Souls, you know, game where it'll just beat you to, to a pulp. Main moment that well, it, it it's sort of like a mix of the two of those, where you can feel powerful on the battlefield, and then you will come across an enemy, and you know you have to know him, you have to know how he attacks and how he moves. And I, I, I think it's got a lot of potential. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I I totally agree, absolutely, hundred percent. Um, it, you you had something you wanted to add to that too, right? About oh uh, yeah, I really think the first DLC packs are going to be pirates and ninjas. I could see pirates. New DLC class races, whatever Pirate. pirates versus ninjas. Pirates and ninjas, kind of like hiding in the shadows. Like you got the pirates at sea, and then you've got the ninjas. Just like I said, chilling they just, in the shadows. Just, they just cool. grab their boat, bring it on land, throw it in the back. Like they don't even care. Dragging their boat to battle. Fuck them all. Maybe some beasts in there or something that they battle. Maybe it's something to combine them, combine their forces to to fight a, a greater evil. Maybe that would be kind of cool too. Maybe after they they hit they hit the other army with their boat. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, get your head in the game. Come on, bro. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, where are you at? What's what's next on your list? We've gone to here now. Go ahead. You're you're next. Let's. What uh, do you got? What, what are you excited for? 2017. Injustice Two. Okay. Fighting game. DC. DC superheroes. Yes. Um, Makers of Mortal Kombat. Looks like they're really starting to up their fighting game stuff to kind of compete with Street Fighter Five and Killer Instinct. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. From what I've seen so far, I mean, a lot of they've released a lot of gameplay. When is that? When is the release the exact release date for that? Do you know? I have no idea. No, but it's got to be. It's got to be early 2017. But just what they've released on that so far, again, same thing. It looks beautiful. Uh, everything looks so fluid. It's like, uh, it's and like it, yeah. Mortal Kombat 10 mm-hmm. came out during the summer, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah. Is that, their, is that yeah? That was during the summer, and I, I think maybe that release date worked well for them. I think they sold really well during the summer. They didn't have to fight off all the big holiday games and all the games that got pushed from the holidays that got pushed like January or whatever. Right. I think that that would be a good spot for them to release. And if I mean Eddie, um, do we have? Or is is that, is that what you're looking up right now? Do we actually have a release window, release date? Mm, I mean, 2017. I do not know exactly when. That's just going to be uh, like sometime in that yeah. that time frame. I mean, that's a, that's that's solid. I mean, I can see that that would work well for them because I mean, it, just from what I've seen it, right now, the popularity of gamers are playing first person games. I, th- I think that goes without goes without saying. I mean, it's just it, they seem to be the most popular genre just because it's easy to pick up and play. You get to jump right into the the, the character and, and, and Dota. 
in League and Dota. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, you've got, of course, you've got your classic uh, uh, MMO games as well. But when it comes down to uh, you know one v one fighting, it's not just 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 again from my perspective, it doesn't seem like it's as popular as a genre. And I feel like, like you said, uh, Mortal Kombat when it released in the summer, it it I feel like it did better during that release. Oh time. no, no, for sure. And and like and like the fighting game community is it's niche but passionate. Oh yeah, you know, sm- sm- smaller the niche, the greater the passion. And like you know, and and and, and MKX was a well made game from mm-hmm. what I've seen. I don't really play fighting games aside from Killer Instinct, but I've seen lots of gameplay. I've watched uh, walkthroughs and Twitch replays of the story, everything, and it was actually kind of interesting to see that much story in a fighting game. Just not really used to. I'm not. I don't really have a lot of familiarity with with with, with this with the genre. The only person who does is busy tweeting right now well, on his phone. <laughs> I'm I'm not tweeting. I'm I'm just you know letting you guys talk it out. Fill the dead air and talk about the damn game on your list. <laughs> I've, I've talked about the damn game on my list, Mike Ross. I was waiting for you guys to talk it out and then for you to go to your number three. It's a great game. You know, like you said, we had a little bit of technical issues and we had to restart this podcast. So um, for my first <laughs> No, you games, totally didn't say that. Less. No, you know, you said it. You said it, Mike. Well, it's okay. So- so you know, I'm, I'm a little say, bit less enthused about injustice. I was about to right say, it, uh, but but at least we're acting like we haven't already done this before. <laughs> you, this, <on> the, <laughs> like, yeah, fucking more combat or some shit's gonna be good. Moving oh, on, no, fuck it, this okay, is, cross, go. <laughs> next fucking thing, whatever. Uh, next. Okay, okay, yeah, got, okay. What do you got? You got you got the next <sighs> one. What else are you excited for? Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Anyone? Okay, is that coming out next year? Yeah, are it's coming sure? out like March, dude. It's Are like soon. Sure? Do, do you not yes. think it's going to be pushed back? I think it might come out next year, but it's not coming out in March. Well, this um, is still the, the, the this is the 2017 list. It's not like the no early no 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 no. You're good. You're list. good. You're good. Yes, I can't wait. Um, they just showed um pictures of the new alien bad guy race. Mm-hmm. Can't remember what it's called. Um, but it looks really cool. Do they look badass? And then um, it, it, they showed they talked about the ship and everything. Um, all customizable apparently. When it comes to, like your quarters, your Mako stuff like that, um, I I can't wait. And it looks really good in 4K on the PS Pro. I can't say how good it looks on an Xbox because they haven't shown all their demos have been on PlayStation 4 Pros. Um, first live gameplay demo on PlayStation. Um, so we'll see, but it looks really good. I ha- I'm gonna be honest. I have gone radio silent. On this game, I have. I mean, aside from the PlayStation Pro meeting thing where they like announced it or whatever, aside from that gameplay, I haven't seen a trailer. I haven't seen yes. a screenshot. I haven't seen nothing because I love Mass Effect and this looks great. And I don't want. I'm sick and tired of games being spoiled to me. Being Before spoiled on games. Out. To be Before fair, I've gone radio silent on Final Fantasy 15. I've oh, not seen anything. Um, besides, like, the occasional, like, screenshot that I can't miss. Mm. Uh, there's sometimes screenshots you can't miss. You surf on a website, you see a screenshot, it happens. Yeah. But, I mean, like, some, I've gone as radio silent as possible. Um, yeah. Be very yeah. interested to hear your impressions of that game. You should do, like, a little mildly epic micro. Like, just we ten minutes, might you, just. Mi- you, microphone, talking about FF15. We might just. Or you just call me, whatever. That's okay. Malcolm? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um God of Beard. God of Beard. God of yes, Beard. God of War with Norse and some RPG elements thrown in. And Mike Ross is just going crazy like God of Beard. God of Oh yeah. No, God I of got of it this War. time. God you only got it this time because we've already done around. this one once. Yes. Um, no, I I can't wait. <laughs> this is this his son. I don't know. Who, who knows? My son dies really fast. He's a, oh, <laughs> dark. God, that just that went that went dark real quick. Uh, in Norse mythology, I like it. Uh, it seems more personal. Uh, kind of like a human side of Kratos, as opposed to it being just a huh. huge hack and slash uh, Diablo type of look to it. 
but I mean, it looks like it's it's up close and personal. You get to see uh, a little bit more detail. Of course, it looks beautiful. It's just how most games are going to be coming out now. They're just going to look phenomenal. Uh, but yeah, it's it's gone from that like hack and slash aspect to a third person again, more personal type of. Uh, it, it, I mean, he, Kratos seems like a way more interesting character this time around. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's he, he's a way more in, interesting character this time around. Just just in, instead of just being like an angry bald guy that yells <laughs> Athena at at the screen or whatever. I mean, he's got a son. He's got a kid. Mm-hmm. I feel connected. The camera's pulled in closer. I feel more connected. Yes. It looks like it could be a good game. Mm-hmm. Um, I was never a huge fan of the old God of War games. I thought they were kind of dumb. This one looks kind of this. This one looks much cooler. Yeah, you know, way more in your face. Plus, it's just gorgeous. Oh my god, have you seen it? Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think that's the point too. I think is it, it's it's changing its ways to hopefully pull in a new crowd of players. I mean, it's obviously going to keep all the old players because of how much they love on, God of and War. And on the name alone. So. Yeah, on the yeah. name alone, exactly. You see the name, it's like, oh, well, I'm going to get the new God of War that came out, but yeah, it's going to pull in new players. It's going to it's it's going to get more people interested and I mean, that's I mean, that's that's most games nowadays though, so I yeah. Um yeah, so what what do we got next on the list? What are we excited what else are we excited for 2017? Star Trek Bridge Crew. Mm-hmm. The other VR game I'm really excited for. So with this one, you you and your buddies kind of get together, and there's a single player aspect with CP or PC or NPCs, but um, you you and your buddies get together, and you are the bridge crew of your Star Trek ship, your fleet ship. Uh, you have your captain, your engineer, your tech person, your number one, your gunner, and you all kind of work together to crew this ship. It's like a really fun multiplayer game. Do you know when it comes out? Ooh. Mike, March. I don't know when any of these things come out. I did not look up the release dates. Roughly well, I did because I'm really excited about this. And, you know, listen, this this might be cool enough for me to get a P- PSVR. Because, like, I mean, Resi, Eddie, you know, I love me some Resi. But the difference is I can play Resi without a VR headset and still have a fun time getting scared, pooping myself. This is, this is a VR exclusive. Yes. And how dope would it be to be on, like, the Enterprise, you know, we, we got four friends on tactical, engineer, captain, and then, I don't know, someone else. And then, like, you know, at, at, all having to work together, you have information that, that he needs, but, you know, the captain is handling the timing on it all. I want to play this game. It looks great. I, I, and I can't PSVR wait. for it. Hey, Mike Ross, what do you got next? <clears throat> Up next, I got ukulele. Did I ever talk about this? No, I started to, and I started talking about um, uh, Battlefront 2 instead, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to ukulele. Backed it on Kickstarter. It's a 3D platformer in the same vein as Banjo-Kazooie, and I think it looks really great. It's got good music. It's got nice bright colorful graphics which you know i'm all for after you know you know game after game of dark and depressing and you know yeah i mean realistic stuff i just want something that's got a pretty art style that's Something fun you know, yeah so it reminds me of like whenever i was a kid and playing my n64 or whatever go go collect the jiggies exactly i want to do that Oh, I can't! I can't wait to collect more jiggies <laughs> or a jiggy <laughs> substitute. Get jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. You're so white, Thank Malcolm. Such a, white, <laughs> such a such a white guy. Uh, Days gone. Oh, I forgot Sony about that Bend. Game. Totally forgot about Ben. Sony Damn. Bend. Mike, during E3, that's all you're talking about. Like, yeah. I wonder what Sony Ben's going to have. Sony Ben's going to have something good. Oh, Sony Ben. Sony Ben. Sony Ben. I really, really, Sony ben. I really liked Siphon Filter whenever I was a kid. Like, I thought Siphon Filter was, like, the coolest shit ever. And Days so... Gone just looks so cool. All those zombies on one screen. I know. Oh, <laughs> it looks man. great. Oh, that man. is gonna be nice. That's gonna be it's gonna be another one of those high octane, get your blood pumping. Oh my god, am I going to die right now? Sort of moments in a game you are living on the edge of your couch. I guess at that point, I I like it. I think it looked great. Yeah, I, mean, I like the little impromptu really like well. item crafting system. Yes, you'll have like you'll be able to pull a muffler out of a car to use as a silencer. Yeah, yeah the, full, like the lack uh, of a pause screen entirely is. 
that just looks cool for horror survival like, horror and all that yeah, yeah totally i totally forgot about that game right? i did yeah. too Dave's that was going, great. man. It's it's just you get to be uh, Daryl Dixon there. I don't know if you guys watch Walking Dead at all, but uh, yeah, little Mike. Can't there. wait for Daryl to die. My, so ooh. <laughs> next, and I know this is a sore point for many people. Years. Kingdom Hearts two point eight because I honestly have no clue when three is going to come out. So I'm really looking forward to. You're 2. putting 8. remakes on here. No, two point eight is not a remix. Two point eight is actually mostly a new game. No, it's not. It's, it's it absolutely it's the, is. It's it's the three DS game, right? And then it's like the PSP game or nope. something, isn't it? Okay, no, that's one point five and two point five. So oh, okay. I'm looking exactly. One point five and two point five are remixing coming out on the PS4 um in March. Where this comes out in January. Hold on. Um but I can't wait because in Kingdom Hearts, we all grew up with it in high school. One day three will come out. But no, you know what, though? <laughs> really, a big thing for this is I I really wish Square would just come out and say it, but I'm pretty sure Kingdom Hearts 3 is not coming out on Xbox anymore. I'm pretty sure. Like, they, they've pulled it from several websites across the sea, have pulled it from their stores. Like, you can't pre-order it anymore on Xbox, only on PlayStation. And then you have 2.8, PlayStation exclusive. 1.5, 2.5 remix, PlayStation exclusive. Why yeah, wouldn't the you originals re- were? Why wouldn't you release those games on Xbox so people could play to catch up to three? Looks kind of fishy to me. Licensing nightmare. I don't know. Looks kind of fishy. Um, no, we have. Let's see. Two point eight in the high def remastered of three D Dream Drop Distance. The three D S one. Yep. Um, and then. Birth by Sleep: A Fragmented Passage, which is an all new game that takes place after Birth by Sleep. So chronologically, it will be the second Kingdom Hearts game, because Birth by Sleep chronologically is the first. When where did that come out? Was was that like a cell phone game or some shit? No, it's because it's a I whole would've... new game. Birth by Sleep. Why are they making all new a games? Fragmentary make, passage. Make three the new, new game. One. What are you doing? Yes, but it will be the ninth and tenth Jeez. installments in the Kingdom Hearts series. So yeah, Jeez. and and maybe Kingdom Hearts three, but also maybe the first part of. Final Fantasy VII Remake? You know, let's throw out things that probably won't happen. Mike Ross, go! Oh! Um, <clears throat> uh, let's talk about Halo Wars 2. Did you guys play the original Halo Wars? Yes. yes. I had a good time playing that in co-op, man. Mm-hmm. I'm usually not a big fan of RTS, but man, I was having. I had a, I had a really fun time playing uh, Halo Wars 2 co-op with my buddy Alex. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it was the first R- R- RTS to successfully translate to a gamepad. It's going to have cross-play and cross-buy between Xbox and PC. So if I want to, I can play on the couch, use the admittedly pretty good controller commands, or just walk over to the PC and then play an RTS the way it's actually meant to be played. Right. Uh, the first one was also really fun. It had really good multiplayer, and it was, and the single-player campaign was long. It was the first time that we saw those mm, mm, so good cutscenes from Blur Studios. Remember the Halo Wars cutscenes? Remember how they just made your eyes bleed? Oh, it was so good. Yes. Uh, it's the first time we saw them. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I kind of wish it would have come out this year, but um, we have enough games this uh, year. Yeah, I got plenty of stuff going on. So to be yeah. fair, I would call Halo Wars the second good console RTS. Um, Command and Conquer Red Dawn on the original Never PlayStation. Never played it. Really good. Wait, wait on wait on the original PlayStation. Yeah, and maybe N sixty four. I can't remember if it came out on sixty four. I really know sixty four had StarCraft on it. I don't know how good of a I don't, I don't know how don't good of a translation that was, uh, but like Malcolm, would you like to go? I have two more on my list that I am excited about. That all I can think about. I mean, uh, I, you guys most likely are going to have a couple more that, that get me That's pretty okay. excited too. Mm-hmm. Crash Bandicoot Remastered. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Love those games. So are, are they just doing the first Crash Bandicoot? I don't know. Or are they it's doing the trilogy? One, two, and three. Oh. They're doing all three of them? All three. <sighs> I love me some Crash 2. Crash 2 is a damn fine video game right there. And and you know what? I got a good feeling that once these sell amazingly well like they will, we'll get a new Crash Bandicoot game. Yeah. It's kind of like a test. Like, is Crash Bandicoot still good? Are people going to buy this? And the answer is yes. So make a new fucking game. I'd like to see a Crash Bandicoot in the same vein as Ratchet. 
that came out today or today last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing seeing them make make it in make a new crash in that style would be amazing. Yes. Okay, also, okay. give me a high def version of CTR. Just one. It's like second best karting game ever made. Okay. Okay. Scale bound. You took mine. Yeah, but Mike, remember, Ugh. I'm giving you one. I'm giving you one, and I want this to be the next one, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. right. Scale so, bound. Scale bound. Seems... Dragons. Yeah. Dra- dra- Multiplayer. That's really it. Drop in, cool drop headphones. out. Cool, yes, cool headphones. Cool headphones, yes. <laughs> um, it looks really good. This game was probably announced two, three years ago now. Yeah. Um, same time, Sea of Thieves and all that stuff for the Xbox One got announced. Um, but it, it's looking really nice. Yeah. Do we know what the actual moment-to-moment gameplay is? Is it like a Monster Hunter kind of thing where you have, like, Big Dragon A, and then you and your buddies chip away at him, and he flies away, and you gotta find him, hunt him down again. Is, is it? I, like, is I it don't a know yet, game, but I don't think it's Monster Huntery. It, it hasn't looked really Monster Huntery to me. It, it looks I like like a like a uh, I don't know how, I don't know the the proper wording for it. The boss progression. So like you take one down, he evolves, gets stronger. You take him down again, sort of thing. I don't know if that's the right wording for that. It's from what I've seen, some of the gameplay for it. I one of the one of the 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 chief. Uh, uh, designers on the game, I guess, is, is who he was. He uh, spoke no English, so he sat there with the translator, and the translations were coming through kind of choppy. But it seemed like that's that's kind of the aspect of it so far. So I don't know. I mean, I would definitely look up some some gameplay for that. It's it seems pretty neat. So that's cool. cool. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mike Ross, give me what I want. What I really really want. What you really really want is Zelda: The Breath of the Wild mm. on Switch and Wii U. Uh, Nintendo man, they had like what it was, it was like a, it was like a three day live stream of this game. Yeah, during like, E three, Nintendo's E three was really just like Zelda, it's the Zelda show, and a ten minute thing here of like another game, Zelda, like an hour of Pokemon, Zelda, I mean, and then like more Zelda. And then I mean, it's 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 Nintendo making an open world game, and it is just as amazing as you would expect it to be. And um, Zelda Skyrim, I mean, Zelda Skyrim. There's not much that can be said about this game that hasn't already been said. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to playing it on Twitch, even though it's not going to be there at launch, which kind of sucks. But um, uh, I may just buy it twice. I don't even know. I'm that kind of a crazy guy. I got Twilight Princess. I bought Twilight Princess three times. Why? I don't know. I only got two hands. I only got two eyes. Why do I need three copies of Twilight Princess? <laughs> Who the hell knows? I'm just crazy. <laughs> so I'll probably just buy it twice. I don't care. Malcolm? <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. All right, give me a second. Uh, all right, so I've got uh, one one left here that I think is, is kind of interesting. Uh, I mean, I'm not entirely excited about it. I, I like how it's taken a different turn as far as gaming goes, but... Detroit becoming human. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, the yeah. one where it's okay. like a detective type of game. That, Dave, that that David Cage joint. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, it's, I, I it just it's 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 like a like a like a mind bending type of what could possibly happen next, and there's an infinite amount of possibilities, and I love that. I love that. You should totally play his other games. Yeah. Yep. What what else is he what else is he asking for? Um damn it. What was the one? There's uh Beyond Two Souls, and then there was the one before that. Uh, Jason! Jason! What the hell's his name? Oh, the, there was like the snow mountain or something like that. The the Yeah, lodge. Origami Killer. Yeah, I can't damn remember. Damn it. It's okay. Shit. Anyways, um uh Uh he he's made other games in this same uh style. Uh, this one looks way more ambitious. Don't get me wrong; it looks yeah. way, way more, more ambitious. Um, but like, um, if if that interests you, I think they're actually on sale on the PSN right now. They got PS4 remasters. I think you can buy them both for like eleven bucks. Damn. Okay. Well, yeah. Did he do Murder Soul Suspect? He did not. That was oh, okay. I can't remember. Um, okay. Fortnite. Tell me about it. I know very little about this game. Tell me about well, it. Well, so, it's Legend a game that was announced here. years and years and years and years and years ago for the Xbox One. It's essentially a survival type game where you have day and night cycles. In the day, you go through, you chop down trees, you do stuff, and you build a fort. No, fort. Heavy rain. And 
That's what it was called, Malcolm. Sorry. Go ahead. Heavy rain, yes. And then at I night, heavy rain. monsters come out and try to attack your forts, and you have to kill them. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's, you know, like you build a fort, you defend it. You build it more, you defend it more. What's the gameplay like? What is it? What are we? What are we looking at? We play you it. like horde mode in Gears of War Four? Okay, looks like that without guns. Oh, yeah. what, what's the time frame set up for this? Like, what what was the era? It it you're in a forest. Mm-hmm. There are trees. That's that's pretty much all we got. <laughs> pretty sure we're not gonna have laser cannons, but we could. Beep, beep. I, don't, I don't think there's really a time frame. You're, you're in a forest. Think, there are trees. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I, I, I like the art style. It's yeah, it's, very... it's kind of like it's it's not a serious art style. It doesn't it's not oh, a serious game. Yeah. Okay, um, but yeah, uh, this looks cool. This looks this looks pretty dope. All right, Mike, you've seen this before. You just don't remember I have because not they announced it like ten years ago. By I'm ten, I mean like three it. when the Xbox One was first announced. Well, um, I barely remember what I had for breakfast, so you know it's okay. Well, okay. Uh, Mike Ross, do you have anything else? Men. Uh I mean, I was going to bring up Cuphead, but uh, all of my emotions are gone from that. I'd rather end on Zelda, yeah. because that's a game I'm legitimately excited about. And, uh, okay. No, I'm good, man. Okay. I have an honorable mention. Okay. That, that is, I haven't heard nothing else about so far, and I'd like to hopefully get some information from you guys, but uh, there was some talk of a, of a Fable MMO. Fable died. Ooh. Did yeah. it? Yeah. Sorry about your luck. Fable died. No. Lionhead Studios are doing Fable, they're dead. Oh. There was also a Borderlands MMO. It released in China, then it died. Oh. There was a Halo MMO. I'm pretty sure it released in China, then it died. Oh. Mm. Things mm. die. It's dead. That's awful. Deal with it. Um, real quick rumor that I've recently came out on the YouTubes and the things and the Euro Gamers um, about the Nintendo Switch before we close up. Um, two games coming out near launch are Pokemon Star, which is the yellow of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay. Or the Platinum. You know, it's it's the third for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Isn't Sun technically a star? Yes. Shut up, Malcolm. <laughs> um, and then a new Pokemon Mario RPG. Comet. With a twist. This Mario RPG has rabbits in it. Pokemon mm-hmm. Black Hole. Po- <laughs> we're, we're done with Pokemon now. But it has rabbits in it. Pokemon you know, like from Galaxy. Raymond? Raving rabbits, really? Does it, they're, they're, what? Were they combining shit here? What? Yeah, there, there's a rumor that there's going to be a Mario RPG with that. Oh wow! I don't. I refuse to believe that. The game could be out. You, I could have it in my hands. I will still say that you're that you're lying to me. <laughs> okay. No, I that, that sounds that's, weird. That's just the that worst sounds idea. weird. Um, uh, I can't wait for the Pokemon uh, game. That sounds cool. It'll be like the first primetime Pokemon on a console. No, for sure. For Pokemon sure. It makes sense. Planet. I mean, like, you want to have... They want the Switch to have a big launch with big games, so... You know what you would make a lot of money on the Pokemon Switch? Game. Pokemon, Pokemon Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Pokemon Planet. You already have it made. Just put it on Switch. Let, let's be honest. Let's let's just get Pokemon Skyrim, Zelda Skyrim, Mario Skyrim, and Metroid Skyrim all Skyrim, out Skyrim, right Skyrim. Make it happen. <laughs> it has set the bar. I mean... Let's, let's, let's it's just... pretty much the thing that will save us all it in is. Switch. It is. <sighs> all right, well, that is our episode 19. Mm, in the bag. Uh, that's that's our Christmas episode right Last there. episode of the year. Yeah. So, uh, what are you from thinking? Everyone, oh, New, New Year's resolutions. Let's do this. New Year's resolutions. I'm going to go last. Somebody else go. Okay. So oh, jeez. I've, I've got one. I'm going to go and start with it because, you know, we, again, very rarely talk comics. Uh, so I want to do that real quick. Um... My New Year's resolution is, and I started this, I want to say, two years ago, and I had never finished it. Uh, I'm going to be very serious about this. I want to read every single uh, Spider-Man comic in the original 700, from 1 to 700. That's what my New Year's resolution is. Okay, okay. Michael Ross? That's a lot of Spider-Man comics. Um, mine's more of a personal thing, but whatever. I'm going to get a better job this year, because my job blows. Okay. So I'm going to take this job and shove it. <laughs> and go make me some more money. Uh, ticker jibs. Getting getting a better job sounds like a great New Year's resolution. Um, <clears throat> how you gonna follow that one up, bitch? First off, I, I would like to think I would like to have that one too, as well as your standard. I'm gonna go work out more and like, have a better body. 
Eh, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, one day. We, we, you, you, you and I both know. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? I This is, I guess, I don't know. This is more along the lines of Malcolm's. I, I would like to 100% more video games. Like 100% mm. beat more and transition over to PC gaming more. I've started it this year. I would like to continue and go further next year. Okay. Become less of a console peasant. You're going to leave me behind. You're going to leave me and Malcolm behind. Hey, hey we're cool. We, we're, we're still All we're right, on, yeah, the, on the screen here. Fist, hey. fist, fist bump through the webcam. It, it, there you go. Boom. There we go. <laughs> um, I, I have one more thing uh, to make this a little Christmassy, make this a little holiday type of episode. What is one thing you guys are hoping for for Christmas? Cash. Money. <laughs> Steam gift cards. Aside from cash to pay the mountain of debt we all have. <laughs> yes. um, uh, I'm going to... Let's go with, like... Peace on Earth. No. <laughs> That's never going to happen. Don't care either. I'd, I'd, I'd like a GTX 1080. Okay. If anyone is uh, looking to uh, spend $600 on me, my address is... <laughs> if he dies uh, after this then i i take no <laughs> personal responsibility or hey malcolm robbed. just leave that out you know just go no no, no 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 my address is executive beep. leave it in um, oh man I, <laughs> um, you're, gonna, you're gonna get like animal hearts to your house or something i don't know i'm gonna go kind of crazy stalkers um man i i don't i i always there's nothing in particular that i i would really like for christmas i uh, of course would love to spend it with my family which i'm going to um but i I would say i i'm a huge again a huge fan of comics so something vintage spider-man i mean i don't really have anything in particular i don't really necessarily really want want anything i just it's nice to get to hang out with my buddies i guess you know if, if we're not counting cash to pay off my small mountain of debt um um the razor recording device for you know, game capture. The Razer game capturing one. I can't remember the name of okay. it off the top of my head. That'd be pretty I know cool. what you mean. Nice. What? Very cool. Yeah. I say I know what you mean. Oh, okay. I, I thought Very you cool. said the name. <laughs> yeah. Cool stuff, man. Well, this this is exciting, man. This is this is our last episode of 2016. This ended yes. our first year uh, of podcasting. But when did we start, man? We started back in May? March. March? May. Something like that. I want to say it's probably like March. <laughs> we, yeah. we put an episode out every other week. Yeah. And we have 19. Do the math. Yeah, do the math. Um, I'm excited, dude. This, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm yeah. really glad of how much it's progressed so far. I'm really glad to have uh, Mr. Mike Ross here with us. It's, uh, it's It's been a fun little journey, and I'd like to keep it going. Exactly. It's truly an honor. I, I love listening to you guys. I love being on. So thank you. Um, we, we, like, seriously, thank you. No problem, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you. So from us all, from <laughs> at Mildly Epic, I'd like to wish everybody a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Mm-hmm. Have fun. My name is Eddie Stash. I'm not the driver. I'm Mike Ross. And everybody, stay, stay epic. epic. You get one. Merry Christmas, Christmas.